Alex, Mo. Uh, I'm going to go to you first, Kate. Uh, obviously, I don't know what to say. You're 2 0 up, cruising, playing beautiful football, and you end up being embarrassed in the end by losing 3 2. What went wrong? Um, I wish I knew the answer. I don't know. It was just a capitulation. Um, I don't know. We was omenosed, cozy. You know, everything was. We was. It was a comfortable two nil um, going into half time, and then it all went crap. And I, I can't tell you. I'm a little bit shell shocked by it. You want to know the truth? What I will say um, is, there. And left it way too long to make substitutions. I've I've got to criticise him there because Brighton made three subs before we even made a substitute. So. But you've got to question the mentality of the football club. I uh, This will be an excuse for people that don't like Ange to say Ange out, Ange out. But we've had five wins on the bounce. Um, and, you know, you don't get that if if the manager hasn't got a clue. But at the, there's some sort of mentality at this club where we, we've just... It's like you said at the beginning, Terry, he hasn't addressed the underbelly of this club. You know, we went 3-2 down and this is where you need a captain to drag you over the line. And we have got nobody like that in our team. Son's our captain, who isn't like that anyway, but he wasn't playing. We've got no one to sort of say, come on, guys, you know, pull this, pull it together. I said to Jim, we, we just can't lose this game from here. We, you know, even if we get mm. a draw, we can't lose. I just, I literally am shell-shocked. I don't know what to say. And all the fans that come on here like Deji, I mean, I cringe because they come on here with such chest. And I think with Tottenham, you know, you know, it doesn't matter whether we go five games unbeaten or ten games unbeaten. You know, there's going to be a moment where we go, oh, so nothing's changed. And that's exactly what's happened today. You know, we, you, we just capitulated. Yeah. Do you feel a little bit like, and I mean, I'm trying to say this in a respectful way. Yes, you were five wins on the bounce. But a number of those games, you know, it was Coventry, two teams that I know that no Spurs fan had heard of until you mm -hmm. drew them in the Europa League. Do you feel like all the work that's been done there has almost been undone with the way you lost today? Uh, kind of, I suppose. Um, I just feel disappointed in my team. I, I, I hate the fact that they build me up and I think, oh, things are looking good. And then it all goes peak tong again. But... I don't think the hard work that we've done, you know, I'll settle for a very low finish if we manage to get a, a European, a Europa League trophy. I'll settle mm. for, you know, 10, as long as we're not relegated, I don't care where we finish. For me, it's far more important for our club to get a trophy. But I don't yeah. know, it just it annoys me that the mentality of this, this club, you know, Ange goes on about, uh, he wants to win things and I get it, of course you do, but... Something's broken in our football club because we just capitulate like that, and it, it's just so frustrating. I can't, I can't even explain how frustrating it is being a Spurs fan because it's always two steps forward, five steps backwards. No, listen, I understand, which is why I don't often understand. Especially, I, I get it in the group chat amongst friends, but it's why I don't understand the Spurs fans that externally come for me. I like my club is in the doldrums right now, but I still wouldn't swap places with a Spurs fan. Not for not even talking history. I'm just recent history. I wouldn't swap still. I still believe there's more chance in the next five years my club wins more trophies than yours. And I just sometimes think uh, maybe a little bit of like read the room. Like I yeah. kind of get, I kind of get mates bantering each other. But I mean, people that don't know me, some of them even tell me they don't even watch my show. I think it's a bit weird you're messaging me. I just think, who are you? Do you remember that girl that was like went viral in Big Brother all those years ago for going? Who even are you? Who even yeah, is Nikki. you? Nikki. Yeah, that's how I feel. I'm like, I don't get it. I don't, like I said, it's like laughing at me because my car broke down when you can't afford a car and you don't have a driving license. And I ain't a dig at you, Kate, and I know it's your club, but I just find it very strange. Um, Go on, Kate, go on. No, I was just going to say, I think it's a younger thing, Terry. I think older fans like myself know what to expect, whereas youngsters think really that all of a sudden we have three or four wins and we're up there competing with the likes of Arsenal. And it's it's a long way away from that. But I've got to give uh, Brighton their flowers as well because they were excellent in the second half. You got, can't take nothing away from them. They fought and they were excellent. No, I, I agree with that. There's a super chat here. I want to pose a question to you from from Martin. It says two up should have parked the bus. Is that a concern? Is that a problem? Do you think for Big Ange if he wants to win trophies at the level he's now at, that most teams, including Man City, I wouldn't say they would park the bus, but they go two up, 
They become more conservative and they control games. With the way Ange plays, is that something that concerns you? Yeah, but it's never going to change. It isn't ever going to change. And sometimes it will work and we're, we're winning comfortably and other times it will be like today. Um, at the end of the day, it's going, this is why I said it's going to be a roller coaster. Ange, by the looks of it, isn't going to go anywhere and he's not going to change. I would have much rather see us sort of tighten up at the back and, and hold on to the lead, but he just doesn't do it. So, um, like I say, it's going to be one of those times where sometimes we win and sometimes we lose. It just it is what it is. It's just mm. it's it is the way of Tottenham. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I I do hear you. And look, I, 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 there's so much about Big Ange I like and respect, and I think he's, he's he's a breath of fresh air at times. I kind of like his no nonsense approach, but I do again learning game management is so important at this level. And he didn't, I mean, to be as open as you were at the beginning of the first, second half when you're tuning up away from home in the Prem is, is crazy. Um, Mr. Box Office, Alex, what are you saying, bro? Back to life, back to reality. Back, back to reality again for the people that were saying to me that Archie Gray was the man of the match a couple of weeks ago. But where was he today? Oh, nowhere. Forgot that. Um, but yeah, just need to just get into um, a three words. Three words. I want to still like that performance because uh, I need to cook, and I'm not going to cook Deji because he, it, even though he's deluded, I still like him. I still like his jip, and I, I, I big up to you, by the way. By by the way, yeah. Um, one the three words are this: arrogance and swag, composure, and leadership. I think it's quite simple why I'm saying these three words. Um, um, yeah, four words if you want to say it exactly. Yes, but then it, it, two words. Yeah, one words. word. It, it, it's, yeah, but, yeah, but two. Um, one word that's got two in them. If we want to take it like that, arrogance and swag. Arrogance and swag is uh, something that uh, Timo Werner's not. Um, I've got too many nice guys at the like, forward line. Too many nice guys at my club right now. Um, people that don't really want to say it how it is. You know what I mean? When things are going wrong, they, I don't see them put their chest out. You know what I mean? If they miss a chance, I don't. They don't look like the confidence player. You know what I mean? I need an arrogance. So that's why I see that I needed Ivan Tone in my team because I know that if he misses a chance, I know what he's going to do. He's going to shrug his shoulder and then he's going to say, "Well, I don't really care. I'll shoot in next time. I'll shoot in next next minute." You know what I mean? That's why I'm not really good with the ladies because I'm too. Well, Alex is not good with the ladies because he's not good with the. He's a nice guy. That's a problem. You know what I mean? That's why he's got no no wife and that's it. But let's move on from that. The point is another thing as well. Composure. Yeah. Composure when things are going well. I saw it against Leicester. I saw it against Leicester and Newcastle. I saw it against Arsenal. When things are going wrong, where's the composure in the team? Where's Bentacor? That's why I said, when people laughed at me the last one, yeah, I said, well, I want Hoybier back in my midfield. There's a reason why I want <laughs> Hoybier back in my midfield, which is a joke, which is an absolute joke. Yeah, because I've been calling him bang average. I had to apologize to Ellie, the queen. I had to apologize to her because she's backed this guy so long because we've not we've not replaced him. I even say this. We've not even replaced the Argentinian Tom Carroll, a.k.a. La Celso. We've not even replaced him. And that's it. So, again, we haven't got no characters in the team. And then the, the first thing, the final thing, which has been a big problem in Tottenham Hotspur for the last how many years? Leadership. Because it's not human song. It's not Vicario, even though I've been impressed with him. It's certainly not Romero. It's certainly not Kulazeski, who's been up and down. It's certainly not any of those players right now. And that's all I need to say, and that's it. Because this is what the main event does. He talks the truth every single time and cooks and says the truth. And then people don't like it, and that's it. And that's all I need to say, and that's it. I'll leave it to Deji now, because Deji will say the truth, and that's it. He'll say it's in his own place, and that's it. And I'm done. See me on Mr. Box Office TV, where I've been talking the truth most of the time, and that's it. And if you don't know, get to know. Back to you, Terry, I'm done. If you don't know, get to know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, man just told us why he ain't got a girlfriend. Uh, there we go. Um, 